I am a hot mess today. The Walmart men's section, I want to say first off, is fantastic if you are a gym rat. How freaking cute is this? Yes. I wore a mini denim skirt with flip flops all the time. and like the Puka necklace. Oh my god, the Puka necklace. Oh my gosh. I no, I can I can help you out here. <sighs> Trevor, they can see you. You are not invisible. Text from your mother. Thoughts of your brother. I thought I won't be part of your family. Okay, when I tell you guys that this has been an incredibly stressful day slash morning, I mean, it has been fucking stressful. So this morning I had scheduled a mechanic to come to our place to service my car. They're supposed to be there at 9.30 in the morning. I knew I was gonna have a packed day, but with them getting there at 9.30, it gave me about like an hour buffer or so as far as like when I wanted to get to the gym and stuff. He was two hours late and I had to get my car service today. Like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He was trying to offer to reschedule me, but I'm actually driving to Chino tomorrow all the way to the Inland Empire to shoot with Michelle tomorrow. And my car is way, way, way overdue for service. I'm not even gonna tell you guys how bad it is because I'm sure someone would be like, why would you even have let that happen? But look, I work from home, so I just, I don't really think about it. And it was just like one of those things where I only drive like three miles per day. So I'm constantly like, oh, my car will be fine. It's just three miles. And finally I looked at it and I was like, nope, I gotta get it serviced. I am flirting with disaster right now. So I kind of just had to let him make me late, which kind of sucked. It wasn't like entirely his fault though. Apparently oil is really, really scarce right now. That's what made him late. He was trying to get the correct oil for my car because where he was coming from, they didn't already have it. So he had to go really far to get it. And he was showing me like the stores, the shelves are like so scarce. They're like pretty much empty as far as oil availability was. So it was like one of those things he had to get done. He unfortunately had to go really far for it. And it unfortunately just made my day run so late. I feel so bad. I have a walk Spartacus. I haven't taken him to the park yet. I've left the house twice. Like this poor guy's probably like, are you gonna take me out at some point? Luckily we have a patio. I have that open so he can run back there if he needs to. But yeah, I've just like had to like run around. I put together a protein smoothie really fast. I didn't even have time to put together my wrap. I'll just have to do that when I get back. But I hate taking this thing to go because I can't wash it right away. And all of this just dries up onto the container and gets caked up, which I freaking hate, but it's fine. But I'm stressed and I'm rushing because I have a brow lamination appointment right now. I'm gonna be like three minutes late, which is actually a miracle considering how my day has gone. I had to wash my hair after the gym because I need to film a video today. Even if it's at night, that's fine. Luckily, I have a really good lighting setup, so I don't mind filming at night. But I had to wash my hair and I couldn't do it after my brow lamination appointment because you can't get your brows wet. And trust me, I have tried to shower without getting my brows wet before. It is next to impossible, so yeah. It's been a day. But yeah, getting my brows done, they just, they look terrible. I was gonna do a TikTok. Maybe if I had a red light, I can film the TikTok really quick. But yeah, I am stressed to the max. Having that appointment run two hours late was definitely not helpful today, but it's fine. Luckily, like I said, I'm only just like a couple minutes running behind for this brow lamination appointment. So I will take that as a win. But here's a close up of my brows. I mean, they don't look terrible, but they definitely are stiff and they won't stay up. So I was 100% due for a brow lamination. I freaking hate myself. I didn't even double check my appointment. I was able to book with the girl who did my brows back in like, it wasn't December, it was the appointment before that because I really, really liked her. I wasn't able to do it for my appointment in December because she, um, or actually no, it was my appointment in December. It was my appointment in like 
January or February that I couldn't book with her because she like wasn't available for some reason. So I saw I was able to book with her. I didn't even check the address. Apparently the studio has two different studios. So she's at the sister studio today, which is like 10 minutes away. But they said they'd call her and let her know. I came, I was on time, but I just, I went to the wrong studio. I can't believe I didn't even look. I just assumed she was at the same studio that she was at before. So hopefully she can still take me. I'm so pissed at myself. I can't believe I did this. Like I feel awful. I hate it when I make people run behind because I know that, you know, they have full days, full schedules. So hopefully she'll be willing to take me. I will tip her extra, which I didn't even get a chance to get cash too. I have 50s. So maybe she or someone in the salon can break up a 50. But yeah, I'm gonna tip her extra if she can take me because I just, I feel so awful. I am a hot mess today. Oh my gosh. I will be so glad once this brow lamination appointment is over and I can just chill. Luckily, it's deeper into Huntington Beach than I was originally, which is fantastic because I really want to try the Fairlife vanilla high protein drinks. I made some cold brew last night and I want to try frothing those and seeing how using one of the high protein drinks would taste in my cold brew. So sorry, it got so dark for some reason. But yeah, I want to see how it'll taste. And it's only available at Walmart, the vanilla flavor specifically. And there's no Walmarts anywhere near me where I live, but there are two Walmarts here in Huntington. So now that I'm going deeper into Huntington, maybe I will stop by Walmart and get that along with just a couple other grocery things that we need for next week. But yeah, I feel awful. I hate making people run late, like when it comes to hair, nails, brows, that kind of stuff. I just hope that if she takes me, I haven't like screwed up the rest of her day because I will feel so terrible. You guys, seriously, I love this girl. Look at my brows. She does such a good job. Not that the girl that I went to last time didn't do, oh God, hold up, let me turn a corner. But yeah, not that the girl that I went to last time didn't do a good job, but she just does such a better job. And also the girl that I went to last time, like, first off, I don't know how she does this, but my brows look so much fuller when this girl does it than when I went to the last girl. And also the last girl that I went to, let me see if I can get into lighting that's not gonna blow out. Like the bottoms of the brow hairs were like all squiggly as if she had accidentally pushed them down. So that really bugged me. They were like that for weeks. It was one of those, it was so small, only I could really see it whenever I was like getting ready, but I freaking hated it. So <sighs> turns out she wasn't available last time because she had just had a baby. So she was on maternity leave, which is why I couldn't schedule with her last time, which makes sense. I mean, I totally get it, girl. Take your maternity leave. But if anybody is in my area and looking for a good brown lamination girl, I will put her Instagram account. I book her through ClassPass, but you could obviously book her directly. But okay, I am by the Walmart that I have been dying to go to so I can get that fair life stuff. So we'll head over there. other Walmart that had the Fairlife milks, but I decided to go with this muscle milk. It'll hopefully work the same, although the advantage of the Fairlife ones is that it's actually milk and this is just like a protein drink mix, but we'll see. Hopefully it'll froth and it'll do its thing. And then I also went to the men's section and got a bunch of pump covers, sweats, sweatshirts and stuff, like over my gym stuff because it's really cheap here at Walmart. I'll do a little haul for you guys when we get back. But you guys, look at my outfit. This is how fast I ran out of the fucking house. Like, oversized graphic tee with no pants look. I just threw on some shorts that are like super, super short. Sandals <laughs> my freaking bag. Like, could I look any more in disarray? But I think, come on, light adjust. This camera is so slow, you guys, I'm so sorry. Or maybe it's not even going to adjust. But anyways, I think I'm also gonna stop by the Trader Joe's while I'm over here really fast. I need to get back to Spark, but my Trader Joe's has been 
just so sold out of so many things and the Huntington Beach Trader Joe's is always really well stocked so hopefully I can find the shit that I've been trying to find at Trader Joe's at this one over here. Before we venture to the PA okay, I need to put away some of the groceries so I thought I'd show you guys what I was able to finally pick up from Trader Joe's. Thank God. I have been wanting to restock these for freaking months and both the Trader Joe's by me have been sold out of them and I've just been so annoyed about that but I finally was able to get a refill of the crunchy curls these are so good I was influenced by Jaclyn Hill these are freaking amazing they're made with lentils and potato and they're just crunchy and delicious so I got two because like I said my Trader Joe's just isn't stocking them for some odd reason. Then I also wanted to get the everything to bottle rolls. I have a little sandwich that I'm thinking of making next week for my lunches. I also got Spart a refill of these. These are their deli style corn beef flavored dog treats. He really, really loves these. So I got him a few more. I'll go ahead and add them. So you guys can see he already had some. But fill it up even more. So shocked he's not over here right now. I did give him a piece of chicken, so he's probably looking on that. Oh, there he is. You want one? Thank you for being so patient today. One more. Oh, oh, you didn't catch that one. You have to find it. And then I also got these. These are new. These are their rosemary croissant croutons. Interesting. I've never heard of a croissant crouton. I really want to try this, but. Once I open it, I don't want anything to go bad because I don't necessarily have a plan on what I want to make this with, but you know, whatever. I have those little clips that usually will help. This is going to be a scissor situation. Ooh, interesting. So they're super flaky inside, but let's give one a try. Mmm! Mmm, those are really good. Those would be so good in like a romaine salad. Mmm. I have to get some romaine tomorrow. That's delicious. I also got these sourdough and onion flavored rings. These are made with lentil and rice. Let's try this really quick. I'm just trying everything apparently. Mmm. Those are really good. Right. That's enough. Then I just got some fruit, some blueberries. We go through blueberries so fast in this house because both of them are them. I also got some pineapple chunks. I don't like to cut up my pineapple myself. If I buy a whole pineapple, it'll literally just rot. So I always buy it already cut up and stuff just because then I'll actually eat it. I know it's a little bit more money, but it's even more money to like waste a whole pineapple because I don't want to bother cutting it, you know? And then the last thing I got was some golden berries. I haven't gotten these in a little while and they're just freaking delicious. So grab that. So I'm just gonna put all this away. Spart and I are gonna Sorry, you guys cut out. Oh yeah, I like was supposed to record a video today, but I'm just, I'm so wiped from how stressful this day has been and how far behind I've run all day that I think I'm just gonna attempt to either film before I meet up with Michelle to shoot tomorrow or just film afterwards. I don't know, depends on how early I wake up, but yeah. Oh, also I will show you guys what I got from Walmart when I get back. I just don't wanna keep Sorticus waiting because poor guy has just been ignored all afternoon. Hi, so I failed. I filmed an entire TikTok trying on everything that I got from Walmart and I had meant to simultaneously film it for YouTube, but clearly I forgot. So I'll just put clips from that TikTok on the screen, but what I got from Walmart, the Walmart men's section, I wanna say first off, is fantastic. If you are a gym rat, you've got pump covers, you've got sweats, you got hoodies, pretty much everything you need in there if that's like your gym aesthetic. If you're like a matching set kind of girl, I didn't check out their matching sets, but I am definitely a biker shorts and pump cover kind of girl. So the men's section was like a treasure chest. But first thing that I got, I am wearing. I got this oversized graphic tee. It's white. It's got this lady on. It's got this beautiful lady on the front. She has some sugar skull makeup and then some roses around it. But this tee is like the perfect length. Like if I want to lounge around at home, perfect length. Or if I want to go to the gym, if I had on a sports bra right now, I would just tuck it in to the back and it would sit like this, like perfect. And it was only seven bucks, so I was very happy with that because 
Most of my other pump covers come from Urban Outfitters and those are like $42 a pop. And actually I prefer not to use my Urban Outfitters shirts for the gym because I just feel like that's a lot of money for a shirt to wear to warm up at the gym. So I try to save those Urban Outfitters oversized graphic tees for when I'm just like lounging around the house or if I want to style them for like an actual outfit. So I did get another pump cover from Walmart. I'm thinking I might want to go back and get some more because I wouldn't feel guilty about like wearing a $7 pump cover a couple of times just to warm up and then putting it in the wash, you know? But the other one I got is this one. It says sarcasm is what I do best. It's very true to me. Same size as this tee. I can't remember if I told you guys. Men's XL. Men's XL. It's the perfect size if you're a woman who wants to wear this as like an oversized graphic tee. I've just always found men's XLs to kind of like hit me where I want it to hit me when it comes to that. And then I also got some joggers. I love getting joggers from the men's section at Walmart. I got a medium. I should have done a small when I tried it on. I realized these are just like a little bit too long, but can still make them work. But they're just these dark gray joggers cinched at the bottom and I do have to roll them like two or three times but they were just seven bucks so I'm not complaining and then because it's men's clothing and men are lucky like this these have pockets put more pockets in women's clothing please then the last thing I got was this oversized graphic tie-dye sweatshirt it says ACDC on the front yes I do know ACDC shook me all night long see I know a song from them so it's not like I don't know this band but I thought that the tie-dye pattern on it was cool I like the gray white and then this like rust color and this is actually really long i got an xl and i think i should have done a large i could have used it a little bit shorter but i don't mind it's really comfy inside and again i just really am loving the pattern on this and this one was actually only 20 bucks which is not bad for a licensed hoodie but yeah that was my little walmart haul i've decided i for sure 100 percent am not going to bother filming because again i just i don't want to do my makeup nothing sounds worse to me right now than sitting down to do my makeup for one video and then also i remembered i have actually been filming over the last couple shoots my spring lookbook which i'm gonna finish up the last couple of outfits for it in this upcoming shoot so i can post that on sunday i, I don't know why i was stressing myself out i can definitely relax for the rest of the night okay guys it is finally happening i know i got this two vlogs ago and i haven't tried them yet but we're making the Lisa Frank cookies. It's about time. So I have the oven already preheated to 350. Looks like these need to bake for, it says 12 to 14 minutes. So I'm just gonna lay down foil. I'm sure you guys know how to make cookies out of a box, I should say. Um, oh my gosh, look at these. <laughs> the little unicorns, how cute. And did you guys know these like sugar cookies are actually safety raw? It's nuts. There's like no egg or anything in the cookie dough, so you can like totally eat it. One, two. In they go. Okay, here we go. They don't cook up too big, <laughs> but I'll just let this cool for a little bit. And we'll give them a try. Okay, got the cookies here. They actually cooked up really nicely. You know how sometimes you cook these and then it just looks like a blob? These ones actually retained the little design slash shape pretty well. So, mm, they're good. These taste like my childhood. You know, if you didn't have these growing up, I am so sorry for you because these literally defied my childhood. But, I'm gonna get to bed here in just a little bit and tomorrow we are gonna head to Michelle's place to go shoot. Okay, good morning you guys. It is time to try this protein coffee I've been wanting to make. So I got the muscle milk, got the cold brew, and I've got ice, thank God. I haven't even looked in this in a while so I just realized, I was like, oh my God, do I even have ice? Oh, this kitchen is so messy right now. Got my glass. But first thing I have to do is froth this milk. I'm scared. It smells good. Okay, this might work. What I like about this too is that there's zero sugar in here. I'm gonna do about half the bottle, which, perfect. The max I can put in here is half the bottle, so that worked out really nicely. I'm gonna do a cold froth on that. I wonder if it'll even froth up since it's not actually milk. 
Again, that's why I wanted to try the fair life. Oh no, it's frothing up. Okay. I just don't think it's going to be a super thick froth, but we will take it. And then the ice, coffee. That's not super dark. Damn, this one brewing for like a day and a half. It's usually darker than this. That kind of sucks. I might add an extra shot. Should I? Yeah, I'm going to. Extra shot. There we go. Now it's darker. All right, and then, wow, this frothed up really, really well. I don't know how good you guys can tell there, but it frothed up so good. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I guess this is a lot more liquid than I thought, but okay, please be good. I'm so scared. I will literally remake an entire coffee if I need to, if it's not good. Moment of truth. It's not bad. It's okay. It's not as good as when I had my creamer. So I almost wonder... I'm just gonna do a little bit of my creamer on top. Frothed up, of course, because frothing it changes the taste of this creamer, and it's so good. I mean, that creamer is good in general, but once you froth it, it's amazing. On its own, it's not bad though. I just feel like I definitely want the regular creamer on top. I didn't do like as much regular creamer as I normally do. Okay, with the regular creamer, it's better. Again, it's not bad without it. But I don't know. Like I, I would do this on a day where I'm having trouble trying to figure out where to put my protein in. I would just switch out my coffee for this protein smoothie. But I think in general, I'd still want to go for my regular cold brew most of the time. But I guess this is a good alternative if I just need to sneak some extra protein in somewhere. So I'll definitely keep the muscle milks. I do want to try to find the fair life sometime and see how that would be. I feel like it would probably be better since it is made from real milk. So I'll try to track that down, but the muscle milk isn't bad. Like if I ordered this from Starbucks, I would be satisfied and happy with it. I just know what my cold brew can taste like. So yeah, could be better. But anyways, there's like 14 and a half grams of protein in this alone. So it's definitely a good little extra source of protein in the morning. But I need to get ready because I remembered I have to stop by the mall on my way to go meet up with Michelle. After all my running around yesterday, about 10 minutes after I got home, I got an email from Amber Crombie that the pants that I had wanted to wear in my last outfit had finally been delivered to Amber Crombie. I got shipped to the store so that I wouldn't have to pay for shipping, but they originally said it wasn't gonna come until Monday, so I was gonna do different bottoms for my last look, and then I got the email that it had come in, which was great, so I can shoot it today, but I was like, I'm not leaving my house again. So I'm just gonna pick them up on the way to meet Michelle, and hopefully they'll end up working. It'll be my first time putting them on when I go to try to shoot them. So fingers crossed. I'm still going to bring my alternate bottoms. But yeah, even though that's inconvenient, I'm glad that they came in on time. You know, I'm not going to complain about that. But okay, I'm going to get ready, fix myself up for shooting. I'll see you guys on the way there. We are finally headed out of here. It's been a morning. Just got a couple of text messages from a few different people. Lots of stuff going on this morning for both Michelle and I actually we were like wow what a morning <laughs> but now I'm on my way to go get my Amber Crombie order and then I'm on my way to Michelle's but it seems like the universe was trying to be like okay I know I gave you a crazy morning so like here's a good consolation prize and when I opened my door I had some PR from Shoe Dazzle so I quickly restyled my outfits in my head to include some of the pieces that I just got in I will be doing like a full dedicated haul video for you guys of everything I got from Shoe Dazzle probably in about a week or so but yeah that was definitely a nice little surprise on top of that 
that I don't know what my girl put on my brows but they didn't budge all night I didn't have to do my brows when I was doing my makeup which is usually the thing that takes the longest so that was lovely but now I'm on my way to the mall I'm gonna go pick up my pants which hopefully fit because I did not grab the alternate bottoms I totally forgot I had said I was going to do that and I didn't so mad at myself but anyways I'm sure it'll be fine if not we'll make it work I love who you are and what you love I want who you are and what you want I love what you are and who you love And I found the one and so I thought Girl, you gotta hold on to me You had me from the start Girl, So I got here first so I'm just changing in because they are linen and they've been folded but I mean, I'm just gonna do what I can here uh, but yeah cute and then I have a tube top that literally matches pretty much exactly perfectly with these so that's gonna be my last outfit but I'm just finishing this outfit I have on if you guys remember this Shein floral applique corset it's so cute then my Abercrombie dad jeans with the asymmetric waist. Right now, I'm just wearing these shoes, part of what I got from Shoe Dazzle, just some pillow slides. I got them specifically for shoot days to make it easier to change in and out. And then I'm bringing back these shoes from Princess Polly. I don't think I even showed these to you guys in the last vlog, did I? Or not the last vlog, but in the last vlog where we shot. I may not have shown them to you, but they're so cute. Well, I'm not gonna put these on until we shoot. I found such a good, I don't wanna say that it's like a dupe because it's not. I mean, Dior doesn't have it in this exact style, but a very Dior inspired saddlebag on Amazon. How freaking cute is this? Right? I mean, it even has the D right here. The only thing that's crazy. that it was like Dolce and Gabbana, but you know, it's like when you just see it from the front, I'm gonna wear this outfit, you don't even see the Dolce, but it's cute, just like for a moment. The Dior saddlebag is one of those bags where I think it's really cute, but I would never actually purchase it just because the shape is just not the most convenient. And if I'm gonna spend a lot of money on a designer purse, I always want it to be a bag that I can use daily because I want to get the most use out of it, and I could not get a lot of use out of it. So to me, as much as I love the shape of it, there's just no point in ever purchasing the real one because I I probably wouldn't use it very often. But yeah, that is the first outfit. And when Michelle gets here, we will start shooting. Your dress is pretty though. Thank you. you guys look at Michelle's bruise. <laughs> she got blood drawn. Wait. Like see how far oh it is to the gosh. side? Oh my gosh. She like went on the edge of my she arm. She fucked you up. <laughs> St. Patty's Day was not so lucky. Oh no. And I was like, of course I did my right arm. Yeah. It's oh really? Y'all, yeah. we walked all the way into the hills over here <laughs> for Michelle's photo. <laughs> and she forgot her blanket because she wanted to do like a picnic. The grass. <laughs> so she left the basket there. We're walking back to get it. I brought my wallet and my phone. I was like, I'm leaving the basket. <laughs> And the flowers in my shoes. Oh my god, what a morning. It's been a day. Oh, it really has. <laughs> I need a massage now. <laughs> this week. I know that massage you got like last week or whatever. Yeah. It's done. It's gone. Week. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, but good news though. Yeah. Michelle has her wedding dress. Yes. She pulled the trigger. Yes, it's at my parents' house. Woo! It already got delivered. Which is crazy. I'm so excited. Yeah, it happened to be like in stock and there was only four left. So I'm still gonna go and try on the dress next Friday for mm -hmm. my mom and- Yeah, just um, cause they haven't seen it. They, yeah, 
That way I could do the little like, yes, yeah. type thing, so yeah. she could see it on, and they're gonna like, yes, but don't charge me double. Yeah, they're gonna put like a, like give, like I'll have shoes and like a veil yeah. and stuff so we can like see it all together. Mm -hmm. But it is at my parents' house, but they only have four left in stock, so I didn't want to wait till my actual appointment. So I called my mom and I pulled the trigger. And we bought the dress. I'm excited yeah. though. She's got a dress. It was the cheapest dress I tried on. <laughs> and like that day when we were like on our way to the appointment, she's like, I'm really worried I'm not gonna find a dress. Yeah. Finds one that day. I almost canceled that appointment. I know. Too. We were like talking about it because I found like another dress where I was like, okay, like this is my backup dress. Yeah. If I don't find anything. And so I was like, oh, I don't want to make a million more appointments. Yeah. And then we ended up finding one. It was crazy. The least amount of people I bring. <laughs> just me. I think it's the, like, I'm like, ah, it's like it's not a big deal. It's just gonna like, I'm just good luck. Yeah. So bring me to your wedding dress appointment, guys. Yeah. And the dress is an amazing deal. Yes. Like, it was like under a thousand. Way under budget. Yeah, under a thousand dollars. So good. So. I'm telling you, go get Louboutins. <laughs> I know. Mom, the budget. <laughs> There you go. You said I could get a twenty-six hundred dollar dress. Perfect. Just under $1, <laughs> it's like not even for like I don't even get designer shoes. I just get a bag. <laughs> oh yes, do it, do it. It's like not even. Friendship, Louise. <laughs> yeah. Mom, what are you doing? You're watching, Sylvia. <laughs> All right, you guys. There's Michelle's picnic basket. We back. It's like. No one took it though, luckily. I mean, I don't know who was gonna take it around here, but <laughs> Michelle's shit just in the middle of this field. <laughs> Thank God. We just kind of gave up on that location. The wind is crazy. Then also I was thinking about it, I was like, it's so green over there and I'm shooting this top. I didn't really want to shoot green on green. So we're just gonna go over to the little shopping center that we usually shoot at in this area. Probably just like shoot in the structure and stuff. And it'll just be easier, just especially with so much wind. Like our hair is flying everywhere. It's like looking crazy. So as much as we wanted like that cute meadow-esque vibe, I mean, we did get shots in of our first looks just for the next two. We're just like, screw it. Let's go to the structure where like the environment, oh wow. It's so windy, my car literally just moved. But where the environment is a little bit more controlled and it'll just make our lives a lot easier because we've just, we've had a day. Okay guys, so Michelle and I never knew each other in middle school, but today we're both in crop tops, like we're in middle school. In trousers. This is, yeah, my, so from here up is what I can dress like yeah. in middle school, but like at teeny tiny shorts. Uh, yeah, at teeny tiny shorts. We're like a mini skirt. We look really mini cute. Denim skirt. Oh my god, yes. I wore a mini denim skirt With flip flops all the time. and like the puka necklace. Oh my god. Necklace. 2000. Sometimes under a color top. Vintage. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't plan this at all. <laughs> and we just both showed up. Always twinning. That's so funny. Forever twinning. Yeah. Um, my top's Amazon. And these are the Abercrombie trousers. I got them on. They're on. <laughs> They're on. <laughs> so it counts. It was, it was close. <laughs> just want to show you guys my shoes really quick. I didn't put them on so we had left, but. How freaking cute are these? These came in from She Dazzle this morning. These are like my favorite ones. Also got this purse. Reminds me of like the jelly shoes from my childhood. Like everything on this feels so 2005. Then I have like green sunglasses on so it yeah. wasn't all blue. It's cute, but I like them. It's my favorite outfit. I love it. <laughs> if I didn't feel so constricted in these pants, <laughs> I would totally just stay in this. It's just it's so cute. Pant. Well, they're Stretch linen. Detail. There's no stretch. Shit. Yeah, that's why. And it's not like these ones where these are like no. And these I'll, have a stretch them too because the Princess Polly like yeah whatever this is yeah. And like it's not the waist. It's my freaking hips where I've been pumping. So <laughs> yeah, I just need the fat to fall off of the muscle. Then then these will be fine. You're like and then they're perfect. <laughs> yeah, then these will be comfortable. <laughs> Just 
finished eating and I'm following Michelle to her place because she had asked me, I think it was like a couple weeks ago at this point, about like working out and stuff because she wants to start going to the gym regularly but she's not sure of how to put together a program for herself or like where even to start. So I put together a program for her so we're gonna go to her gym so I can check out what her gym has, see if like, there's anything that I can add or whatever based on the machines that she has and then also kind of run through some movements on her that she might have questions about form wise and stuff so <sighs> putting her through a little bit of a bridal boot camp especially since we know what dress she's wearing now we know like where she'd prefer to kind of see a little bit more muscle definition and stuff but I was telling her it's like very ironic that we're going because we both just had a huge bowl of ramen. I had churros. Those churros were just for me. They were not for us. Those were for me. I had one left over. I'm going to bring to Trevor. But yeah, we just had like such a treat of a meal. Such like a fun food meal. And then now we're going to like head to the gym. Okay, here's Michelle's gym. Wow. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, continue on to two goggles. Oh, oh good. This you did perfect. This is the thing that I was like, I feel like there's a lot that I can do with this. Yes. I'm, oh my gosh. I'm gonna be like, oh, I don't know what no, I can I can help you out here. By the way, look at the gym fit. Obviously I have on fit. <laughs> if I are doing anything <laughs> right. later, I'd be really like, right. okay, These look. are and Tagalog in the Philippines, Chinelas. <laughs> yeah. Just like I know that I can like pull weights. Real gym rack. Like do my weight. Like yeah. If I wanted to do like whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's what. Hold on, I'm gonna have this. Text. Because there's one tricep one. I was like, I don't know if she'll be comfortable with this. It was the skull crusher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have tried. I have tried. I have tried. She has not tried any. I've only worked out like three. Yeah. Um, more often than not, just eat like this. Yeah. yeah. I tried to record this clip once already. <sighs> Trevor, they can see you. You are not invisible. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> but we're gonna go to Spectrum. Might wanna try this like Cuban? Cuban? Yeah, Cuban restaurant that's over there. Just for something a little bit different for date night. Oh gosh. I've ever had Cuban food. Super dark. There's, um... The movie Chef made me really want to try Cuban food. Dude, that food looks so good in Chef. Uh, there's like a Cuban cafe over in Orange. That's where we went after Michelle's first wedding dress appointment. Mm -hmm. That was really, really good. Uh, but yeah, we've been wanting to try this place. I actually heard that they have a really good brunch, but obviously it's not brunch time loud. right yeah, now. Yeah, you said you wanted to try it, but I was like, yeah. nah. But right now we'll try. Maybe if Rebecca Dinner. ever wants to hang out again. It's our friend. We'll plan like weeks out, nothing. We'll plan like a week before, nothing. Then I even tried to be like spontaneous, nothing. I'm like, dang, man. Like, Maybe we should take a hint. Her out on 
to. Or maybe we should take a hint. Okay. So right now that's our first choice of where to go. If the wait's long, I don't know. We'll kind of walk around and find something. I mean, I feel it's like... not really dinner time. Yeah, that is true. I feel I was like... being sarcastic. It's oh. 7.30. By the time it's we like get prime there, dinner time. by the time we get there, it's like eight. It's winding down. But the Spectrum's opened up like a lot of restaurants. I feel like since like we've been there. Last time we went, we ate at CPK, which has always been there. I don't make that face. I love CPK, but it's so basic. There's some like other newer restaurants too. But it's because everything was an never... hour and a half wait. Really. Yeah. So hopefully we can get in somewhere tonight. But I'm still wearing the same outfit as before on my last outfit. Speaking of basic. Um, or actually just shut up. Or actually just the same top and then I switched into the jeans and I threw on a trench coat. And I'm in sneakers because my feet freaking hurt. They're done. They're done for the day. Yeah. 